nobody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. All right, so today we're gonna be taking a look at some of your guys' artwork you submitted using the hashtag ABCrit over on Instagram. Guys, all right, check it out. As you guys know, we do critiques here on the channel. But what you may not know is we stream five days a week over on Twitch, and I got a link to that in the description down below. So far, everyone who has come from YouTube has had an absolute blast over on my Twitch. They've loved it, and I'm sure you guys will as well. So become part of that community, go down to the description and check it out. We have a lot of really sick art to look at today. The first being from Transport NSW. This guy's work is sick. He submitted for critique, and to be honest, I don't have much to critique. Anything I can say about this can be 100% opinion-based because all of his fundamentals are factually correct. He has no fundamental issues in this piece. So instead, what I want to do is I want to take this opportunity to, to go ahead and teach you guys something about flowing your extensions. Now, I know every single new graffiti artist is going to hear me say that, and they're going to go, Oh my god! That's it! I'm gonna learn how to do extensions! Everything I do is gonna be wild style! If you're looking to get better at graffiti, please, please, please keep it simple. I cannot stress that enough. So if we take a look at his O, he has a yellow extension that pops out the center right side of the O. And at first glance you would look at this and you would say, hmm, doesn't really flow all that much. But you can flow an extension that randomly, very jarringly pops out via momentum flow, which is precisely what he does. You can also do it with letter and line uniformity and similarity, but this is about momentum flow. So if you look at his S, it starts at the top right, as most S's do, and it swerves down towards the center. Now once it gets to that center, that momentum needs to be carried out somewhere. Typically it gets carried through the rest of the S, and in this case that's no different. It does get carried through the rest of the S, but he takes some of that momentum and shoots it to the right for the extension. Admittedly, he could have done the momentum flow a little bit better on the extension by using a perfect kind of horizontal line that leads into the S instead of kind of diminishing the momentum with that little dip he has. But that's not too big of a deal. It still looks really incredible. You guys know we have some pretty dope artists here in the critiques. And one of them is a Hess. They submit for critiques regularly. But today, I want to actually just share with you some of their work. They submitted it for a critique, but I think it's actually really, really beautiful. And I more so just want to appreciate what a Hess does because they're a young, up-and-coming artist with phenomenal, incredible work. Check out their YouTube channel, check out this little video they did, and be sure to follow them on Instagram. I got their links in the description down below. A Hess is definitely gonna be somebody you wanna watch out for. As for a little bit of a tip for a Hess, I, I wanna more so recommend an artist for you to be inspired by. The reason I want to suggest an artist is because inspiration doesn't have to necessarily be direct, right? A lot of inspiration for my graffiti is actually fine art and anatomy and, and things of that sort, more organic forms. The two have nothing to do with one another, but you can learn lessons from one and apply it to the other. And I think I think if you check out this artist's work, you can see how she blends very non-realistic things and kind of meshes it into a realistic form pretty seamlessly. And I think for some of your own artwork, that would really help you out for blending your more creative elements of your images into the more organic elements of your images like the animals you do. Here we have a piece from Mona Graffiti. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. I know a lot of you guys are tired of hearing me say this, but I gotta keep preaching it so like that people begin to pay attention. Even if it's only one person, that one person could go on to create amazing artwork if they decide to listen. So I'm not gonna give up on that one person. And Mona, I'm hoping you're that one person today. You don't have to spend any years going down the wrong path. That's illogical, that doesn't make any sense. When people say that, like, oh, you have to go the wrong way in artwork in order to find the right way, that's like saying to somebody, oh, screw going to elementary school, you don't have to do that. No, 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 don't be silly. Just go out into the world and learn on your own for a little bit and then go to elementary school and learn everything. Makes no sense. Just start practicing the basics if you want to get better. If it's just a hobby, then do whatever you want. But if you want to get better, you gotta practice the basics. Whoa, Smo! Smo! Smo submitted for a critique? What? Bro, you keep this up, Smo's gonna see it, and he's gonna put you in his story. You don't want that to happen, man, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stop you here. And, and, <laughs> my dude, don't, 
Don't bite people's artwork. That's not that's not the play. That's not the move you want to be making. Number one, it doesn't help you at all. Number two, it doesn't help you at all. Number three, it, it, it doesn't help you at all. So a couple a couple of things you want to work on. So number one, you want to work on the fundamentals and practice the basics. This is sounding a little familiar. If you practice the fundamentals, you won't need to go ahead and copy other people. There, there's this thing in graffiti where a lot of people will mindlessly copy other people's work, and graffiti artists love to use the whole entire, oh, but copying you, you learn, you learn. That's a really small minority of people that are able to do that. Most people don't actually get a benefit from copying. Instead, what's happening is they're getting a benefit from trial and error, not copying. So in graffiti, they mindlessly copy, and they don't actually retain a lot of that information, which, in result, doesn't give them much benefit. And even if they do methodically understand and dissect the image that they're copying, they're still skimming on the fundamentals and that's gonna come back to bite them later. So either way, it's not really a good idea, at least not until you understand the fundamentals and then you can dissect other people's stuff and you won't be copying because you'll understand how they've done it. You'll understand kind of the recipe and you can put those ingredients into your own work without it being a direct copy or just a copy in general. Yo, look at this Deadpool, what? Very nice control on a lot of these areas too because it's not the easiest in order to get texture and convey the texture of cloth or just anything for that matter with spray paint. It's not as straightforward as something like pencils would be. So the fact that you got that on something that's only like 30 inches is pretty damn good. Especially in the smaller areas like the gloves. Double down on your accuracy in order to get texture. I would even go as far as to say to on your free time, study it more with pencil. Because the more proficient you get at that, the more proficient it'll make you at this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our critique. Thank you guys tremendously for submitting. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to be a part of the critique, all you gotta do is use the hashtag ABCrit over on Instagram. If you want to critique a little bit sooner, a little bit faster, just hit me up in the DMs. I get back to those pretty frequently. I try to get back to everybody. If you have any questions about art, leave them in the comments below. And let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts about biting? Also, I stream five days a week on Twitch. If you're watching this the day it comes out, I might actually be live. I got the schedule right down here, so check it out in the description. Go ahead and give us a follow. Once again, everybody who's come from YouTube has absolutely loved the stream. So I'm sure you will as well. I'll see you guys over there. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.